Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this table of contents for your blogger website. So whenever you click on any of these links, for example, if you click on pros, we can see that we get taken to the pros heading over here. And in the same way, if you click on any other section, you get taken to that section. So this is what we're going to design in this video. And we'll be adding this to our blogger website and I'll show you how to create a post with table of contents for your blogger website. So let's get started. So I have opened this empty project in VS Code. So let's create new file and we'll name it index.html and we'll create one more file and we'll name it style.css all right let's start with the index.html file and uh, we'll type exclamation tab for this html file boilerplate and we'll also link our css file over here all right now for the table of contents we will have a wrapper division called toc container so we'll type toc container and in that we'll have an h2 with a class of index heading and uh, here we will type table of contents let's open this with live server all right now we'll create an unordered list and uh, we'll give it a class of table of contents and in that we'll create a list item and uh, we'll create an anchor tag and uh, then uh, we will add our headings over here so you have to add all the headings that you have in your post to these list items over here so for this example we will have five headings introduction features pros cons and conclusion so let's add those list items i'll just copy this four more times That's it with our table of contents. Now let's create a division for the content. We'll not be copying this division to our blogger website. We'll be just using this to test this uh, design that we have over here. In our blogger website, we'll be creating an actual post and then we'll add this TOC container division to that. All right, so let's create this division with a class of content. And we'll have these headings and a paragraph. So let's do that. Now for each of the headings we have to provide an ID. So for this we'll give an ID of introduction and then we'll create a paragraph. Now let's copy this and uh, we'll paste it below that. And for the second one we will have the heading as features and we'll also change the ID to features. And uh, next we have pros and uh, then we have cons and uh, lastly we have conclusion. Alright we have our headings and paragraphs in place. Now let's link these items to these sections. So since we have given IDs to each of these headings, we can access that over here. So in the href attribute of our anchor tag, we have to provide the name of the ID. So here we can type hash introduction. And now if we click on introduction, we get taken to that section over here. So in the same way, we can do this for all our anchor tags. Alright, now when we click on any of these, we get taken to those sections. Now let's style this. So we'll go to our style.css file. And uh, first of all, we'll target the body tag. And we'll give it a font family of Roboto. And we'll also style the content. So for that, we'll give a padding of 8 pixels and a line height of 1.9. Now that's it with our basic styling. We'll be copying the following code to our blogger website. 
so first of all we will set the scroll behavior to smooth so we'll target the HTML tag and we'll type scroll behavior and we'll set it to smooth so now when we click on any of these we get taken to that section smoothly now we'll target the TOC container and we'll set a maximum width of 600 pixels and we'll also set a font family of Roboto that's because we are not going to copy these lines of code so we have to set the font family over here as well and uh, then we'll give it a background color of DEFF9D and we'll also give it a border radius of 8 pixels and a padding of 16 pixels 0 0 0 and we'll also give it a box shadow of 0 4 pixels 11 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.6 alright now let's style the index heading so we'll type TOC container h2.index heading and uh, we'll set the text transform to uppercase and font weight to normal and margin to 0 16 pixels All right now let's style the table of contents unordered list and we'll set the list style to none and also set the padding to 0 now we'll target the list items inside the table of contents and we'll give it a background color of dark gray and we'll also set a transition of 400 milliseconds this is for the smooth animation when we hover so when we hover over these items we can see the color change now let's style the anchor tags inside the table of contents first of all we'll remove the underlines and then we'll set the color to white we'll also set the margin left to 24 pixels and padding of 16 pixels and 0 and for this to work we have to set the display to block now let's set different colors to alternate list items so here we will type table of contents li colon nth of type and here we will type even so this will target all the even number of list items so it will target the second item fourth sixth and so on so for the even items we will give a background color of 2e2e2e 2E, 2E. Now lastly let's also set a hover color so we'll type table of contents li hover and we'll set the background color to 000, 000. so we can see that the hover is working and also our table of contents is working now it's time for us to copy this to our blogger website here i am in the dashboard of our blogger website so let's go to theme and click on customize now click on advanced and go to add CSS we'll paste our CSS right here so we'll just copy everything from here and we'll paste it right here and then click on apply to blog now let's go back to blogger now let's add a new post so we'll click on post and click on new post and we'll just type a title over here so I'll just type review and let's click on compose and we will add our post right here so first of all we want a heading and it will be introduction and we'll copy some dummy text over here so just click on generate and we'll just copy this dummy text from here now we'll add another heading so features and you can add whatever heading you want over here so the next one we will add is specifications and the next one we will have pros and cons and uh, lastly let's have conclusion that's it with our post now before adding the table of contents let's add IDs to all these headings so we'll go to HTML and for all these headings we have to give an id so for the introduction heading we will give an id of introduction 
and in the same way we will give the appropriate IDs to each of these headings so for this we will give an ID of features here we will set the ID to specifications then here we have pros and cons and lastly here we have conclusion all right now we are done with the IDs now let's go ahead and copy our uh, table of contents so now here we have to make some changes so we had changed the headings so here we have introduction and then we have features and the next one we have is specifications and we'll change the ID over here as well and then we have pros and cons and uh, we'll change the ID over here and the conclusion is the same so let's copy this uh, whole division from here and uh, we'll paste it just before the heading now let's click on publish our post has been published now let's view the post and see whether everything is working all right so here we can see we have this table of contents so let's click on specifications and we can see that we get taken to that section over here let's click on conclusion and we get taken to conclusion so this is basically how you create table of contents for your blogger website if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day